One, two, three. Sound travels far and wide here in Kentucky, where bluegrass, country, rock and roll, and even jazz fill our hearts with homegrown happiness and the rhythms of country life. I'm Arthur Hancock here today backstage at Rudy Fest in Moorhead, Kentucky with Billy Renee Johnson, an amazing singer, songwriter, and band leader for Billy Renee and Cumberland Gap. Billy, I'm so glad to be with you today here at Rudy Fest. Well, I'm glad to be able to sit down with you, Arthur. How in the world did you start playing bluegrass music? Oh gosh, the journey on this started about 21 years ago. Both my parents are musicians. So growing up, we always had musicians in and out of the house, but my dad always had a bluegrass band. And actually, his first uh, bluegrass band was called Cumberland Gap. So that's kind of how where it comes our from. name originated. And so uh, after I went down to Nashville and tried to do it in country music, try to make a, make a go at it, I come back and I said, Dad, I believe I want to start a bluegrass band. And that's how Billy Renee and Cumberland Gap got started. I want a great big Rudy Fest welcome to Miss Billy Renee and Cumberland Gap. Was uh, the bass your first instrument, or did you start out playing guitar? Or Actually, when I started in my band, I was standing and singing, and I had a couple of musicians, uh, band members that said, you can't do that, you're not gonna stand and pat your knee. So uh, they put a bass in my hand. Actually, I had a pretty nice bass at the house that belonged to my dad, and that's the one that I learned on. <laughs> How's it been balancing life and bluegrass? Because I know that's a challenge. It is. Because um, I have continued working a career in state government, and this is my 23rd year. And I've been traveling and singing uh, for 22 of that. To be able to do it with my father, who has been by my side uh, through this whole experience, I don't think I would ever go back and, and want to change the way I have done it. What are some other places in Kentucky that you think are very important for bluegrass music? Poppy Mountain is a, a big festival here held in September. It's a four day festival and it's been going on too for 20 plus years. There's always a festival, there's always bluegrass music being played somewhere whether it may be one of our town, our local town festivals as well. You know, they'll bring in a couple, but as for a long, couple of weeks of uh, music back to back is right here on this on this uh, hill that we're standing on right now. Poppy Mountain. Poppy Mountain. Why would you tell someone to come and visit us here in Kentucky? There's just so much to do in our state. You've got these state parks. I mean, our, you know, our mountains of Kentucky are beautiful. And then when you've got Kentucky Lake in western Kentucky, all of that. And there's so many town festivals going on. We've got so much in this state to be proud of. There's just so much to offer. Thank you. 